ladies and gentlemen. You know, there's a lot of people mad at Joe Biden today because when he spoke to Netanyahu, he pretty much told them to stand down from attacking Iran. Now, today, when I woke up, I saw some of the articles where Israel was putting sanctions on Iran. And there's a lot of people that feel Joe Biden's advice was not good. And, you know, at the end of the day, is Israel really going to listen? I personally think they're going to, somewhere down the line, they are going to retaliate, you know? But this is the advice Biden gave, and it just seems like Biden, that's all he knows how to do is wake up and piss people off. That's all this man know how to do for real. So there are many that are pushing back on both sides of the aisle against Joe Biden for telling Israel to avoid a counterattack on Iran. They feel that it was inappropriate for him to tell Netanyahu that. I think Netanyahu's going to do whatever he wants at the end of the day, y'all. I really do. And do I think there'll be some kind of response? Yes, I do believe um, Israel is going to respond to what Iran did. You know, I was looking at some of the articles and it's hard to pinpoint how many bombs and drones were sent there because each outlet is giving different numbers. But, you know, from the foreign outlet, let they were saying like around 300 drones and missiles were used against Israel in an uh, you know an attack from Iran and many feel that yeah there should be a counter attack you know for what they did so president joe biden decision to tell Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu the U.S. won't support any Israeli counterattack against Iran was hit with a barrage of criticism Sunday from both sides of the aisle. The pushback, mostly spurred by Republicans, comes as Biden and his senior advisors are concerned that an Israeli response to Iran's recent attack could lead to a regional war with catastrophic consequences. So, you know, they're never quick to bother a country with nukes and Iran, they got nukes. So anyway, Iran launched attack drones and missiles against Israel on Saturday night, local time in retaliation for an airstrike in Syria that killed top generals and military personnel. The White House National Security Communicator, uh, Communications Advisor John Kirby echoed Biden's stance on Sunday, telling NBC meet the press that the president has been very clear. We don't seek war with Iran. We're not looking for escalation here. We will continue to help Israel defend itself. However, Biden's stance has drawn criticism and disagreement, including from former National Security Advisor John Bolton. Yeah, a little war hawk there. Bolton said Biden is an embarrassment to the United States for urging the Israelis to not retaliate per an interview on CNN, State of the Union Sunday. This is an American interest to make sure that Iran, which is the principal threat to the international peace and security in the region, is at minimum put in its place to spare Israel, to spare the Gulf Arabs, to spare us from the threat that they pose, he said. John Fetterman, y'all know who John Fetterman is, also pushed back against Biden telling CNN, the State of the Union, that he doesn't agree with Biden and thinks we should have Israel's back in this situation. Fetterman added that he it doesn't change anything, that President Biden is fantastic and I'm proud to stand with him. Okay, whatever. 
Okay. And Senator Chris Coons, and he's also from Delaware, just like Joe Biden. And he also told CNN State of the Union, he thinks we should take a breath and analyze what the consequences might be of an attack back on Iran by Israel or any other escalation. The Delaware Democrat and close ally to Biden says he understands that there are those who think that the only way for us to restore deterrence, and he's talking about if they strike back, I think the most important deterrent action that Congress can take is for Speaker Johnson to not take days or weeks or try to come up with some other package, but to pass the supplemental tomorrow. And Majority House Leader Steve Scalise of Louisiana said Saturday that the House will vote on an AIDS package this week, though he did not specify what it would contain beyond aid for Israel. House Intelligence Committee Chair Mike Turner, he's a Republican from Ohio, said Sunday and on Meet the Press that he thinks the U.S. need to take clear um, he believed there should be a response. That's what he's saying, which the administration, you know, feels they don't need to respond back. Um, but he seems to think the opposite should happen. Mm. He doesn't want the U.S. involved, but some type of retaliation should happen. So Marco Rubio also um, defends American troops in the region. The bottom line is we sent these young Americans there and it's our job to protect them. So I'm in favor of doing anything we can to protect them and prevent them from being attacked, Rubio said. Rubio also criticized Biden's administration for leaking contents of the president's call with Netanyahu and said it was only done. So when Israel does retaliate, the White House can say we told them not to do it. All of this comes as House Speaker Mike Johnson, a Republican, Louisiana, said Sunday that the House will try again to pass military aid to Israel in response to Iran's attack. So that's where it stands. So they're pretty split. Even on the Democratic side, there are some that feel that Biden's advice is not good. And, you know, and sometimes if you don't respond, then people will try to, you know, you may open up the gate for more nations to try to take a crack at you, you know. But I don't know. I'm just getting the feeling that Israel is going to respond to Iran. I really do. I, I don't think Netanyahu is the type that's going to sit there and just do some sanctions and that's it. I really believe there is going to be an Israeli response. You know, maybe not right now, but somewhere down the line, there is going to be a response. But that's my opinion. You may see it a different way. You know, Israel don't always necessarily listen to the United States. They pretty much do whatever they want. They've been doing that all up until this time. So why should they do things differently now? I don't believe they will. So Joe Biden now got a new group of people mad as hell at them for telling Israel to stand down after they were bombarded with over 300 missiles and drones this past Saturday. Y'all gonna have to tell me what you think. And you know what? I've had subscribers in that area. So if you are there, um, let me know what's going on there. And, you know, if this report is kind of off or wrong, let me know in the comment section. You know, before all of these wars broke out, I did have some people over in that region that would listen to me.
And every now and then they would put stuff in the chat. But haven't seen them in a while. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.